Well, after a week off, the Montana Grizzlies return to action this week with the FCS playoffs officially underway, and they'll welcome Delaware to Missoula on Saturday evening in the second round. These two teams have only met once before, all the way back in 1993. It was also the playoffs, and it was a thriller, as we had the broadcast of it that afternoon in what was a bone-chilling contest in the Garden City. The date was November 26, 1993, at Washington Grizzly Stadium, a venue that looks much different than it does today. And the temperature at kickoff held about a balmy 8 degrees between the Blue Hens and Grizzlies in the opening round of the 1AA playoffs. And what a wild one this game ended up being. So we'll jump to the end of the third quarter as Delaware ties it 28 to 28 on an 18 yard score between Leo Hamlet and Kaita Malloy. But to the fourth we go now and this game got even crazier as sophomore quarterback Dave Dickinson on fourth down hit Scott Guernsey to give Montana the lead back. But a few minutes later, Delaware responds to make it 35 all in the fourth. So we'll fast forward to under three minutes left in the game and Montana strikes again as Dickinson throws it to Shalon Baker. He drops it and is leveled in the process, but the ball falls into the hands of Matt Wells to give UM a 42 to 35 lead. After the ensuing kickoff, Delaware says, hey, why waste any time? Let's just score in one play. And they do exactly that with a 70 yard touchdown run by Lan Yu Johnson for the home run score as he outruns everyone to the house. And just like that, it's tied again at 42 all with 224 to go. But you can't make this up. Next play on the kickoff, it's fielded by Damon Body and see ya. He's gone all the way 80 yards to the house for the Grizzlies as these two teams combined for three touchdowns in just four plays in a wild sequence down the stretch in this one with neither team giving an inch. But the all important PAT coming up is missed by Andy Larson, but that makes it 48 to 42 Grizzlies. Final minute, Blue Hens with the ball, Hamlet airs it out to Malloy again and it's right on the money as it just gets over the head of Todd Erickson as Delaware responds once again with a 32 yard score and they convert that PAT to take a 49 to 48 lead with 55 seconds left in this game as the Blue Hens completed just five total passes in this game and that one right there was one of them. Grizz trying for one more response, but Delaware locks down and forces the turnover on downs as the Blue Hens survived in Missoula 49 to 48 to advance in the 1AA playoffs where they ultimately fell to Marshall the following week. These two teams combined for almost 1,100 yards total on offense in this contest, with Delaware almost racking up 500 yards alone on the ground. Dickinson was 37 for 44 with four touchdown passes in the game, and he also ran one in two, while Wells and Guernsey each had over 100 yards receiving. Both teams also combined for eight turnovers on the day, which with the weather is to be expected. And while Larson missed that PAT, don't worry. I think he made it up to Grizz fans just two years later in the national championship game. That's a look back at our rewind to the only time these programs have seen each other. It was a great game and a crazy outcome when these two teams played the first time. So we'll see what's in store Saturday when they meet again at 7 p.m. under the lights at Washington Grizzly Stadium.